Dennis Waitley, an American motivational speaker, once said, It's not what you are that holds you back. It's what you think you are not. Hello, everyone. My name is Inga, and I'm an executive administrative consultant and business coach. Today is day three of my Go Live Challenge for 10 days. I am originally from South Africa and currently live in Canada. When planning this video, I decided on a topic and this was identifying and harnessing your talents. But I hit a snag in the road. I couldn't think about what my own talents were and I had to phone a friend. It got me thinking, why is it that we do this? Why can we not identify our own strengths, but we never fail to discern someone else's? The answer is imposter syndrome. Now, some of you may be wondering, what exactly is imposter syndrome? I'll tell you. Imposter syndrome is an internal, internal experience where we think and believe that we aren't as competent as other people believe us to be. While this definition is usually narrowly applied to intelligence and achievement, it also has links to perfectionism. Research shows that 70% of the world's adult population suffers from imposter syndrome. And so it stands to reason that there are people who suffer from imposter syndrome, yet are still successful. What about the 30% that don't experience imposter syndrome? Well, from what I know, they are probably not more intelligent or capable than we are. The difference between them and us is one thing. During the same situation that triggers these feelings of imposter syndrome in us, they think differently. Isn't that great news? In order to stop feeling like an imposter, we need to stop thinking like one. So in closing, I'd like to leave you with four ways to help you to combat imposter syndrome. Number one is create a list of accomplishments or achievements. This list isn't for anybody else, although you could share it if you like. It's for you to remind you that even though you feel this way, you are actually very capable. The second one is speak positively to yourself because those negative self talks that you give yourself doesn't do anything to help combat your imposter syndrome. The third thing is learn from your mistakes. I always tell my clients that on the road to success are many steps of failure. And what I mean by that is when you are failing like we say we're actually learning how to succeed take for example thomas albert edison he was the inventor of the light bulb and although he invented the light bulb many people don't actually know that in order to get to the point of inventing the light bulb he tried one thousand 
times. So what happened during that experience leading up to the point of creating the light bulb? He was learning how not to do it. And the last one is establish a support network for yourself with of people who either are currently going through the same thing or have been through that thing and learn from them. Thanks so much for listening and have yourself a wonderful evening. I'll see you back tomorrow for day four. Take care.